Oh, sometimes I'm just ugly, you know, just, just ugly. <laughs> Don't do that at home. You still look like shit. Oh, look at this cute little baby. <laughs> And welcome back to my bare face. I actually haven't been on camera with a bare face in a long time and I know why. Whew. Today we're actually here to do something TikTok related again because you know I'm just like that kind of YouTuber who's like super quirky and watches TikToks for like two hours. Am I a YouTuber? <laughs> Am I an Instagrammer? Am I a TikToker? <laughs> when will my reflection show? <laughs> Sometimes I'm just ugly, you know, just just ugly. <laughs> I know people are doing a lot of videos like this, like trying TikTok trends, makeup trends on TikTok, from TikTok. But I don't want to just do trends. I want to do like things I saw on TikTok, just like stupid things. So the first thing we're going to be doing is this one makeup trend you probably saw hundred times. I actually saw this video like a couple of months ago. This kind of foundation technique which is applying powder before foundation and then setting spray and then primer and then foundation and then supposedly your skin is to look is to look <laughs> is supposed to look flawless, you know, just like amazing. I'm in this time in my life right now. I really want my skin to look amazing again because my skin has been acting up lately. I still think it's the water in Berlin because I just moved like two months ago and since then my skin's like, <laughs> you know? Answer us. <laughs> if you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one. Okay. And I just lightly dab it all over my face. Not too much. Lightly dab it onto your face. Wrong brush. <laughs> okay. We're lightly dabbing it onto our face, onto our acne. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, she didn't say that, but we have no choice. I have never watched any um, videos of YouTubers trying this trend. I don't really know if it actually works. I've only seen TikToks and, and I feel like on TikTok, you always look good because you can put this face smoothing filter on. So let's see what it's gonna look like in HD on YouTube without any filter on it. <laughs> she said not too much. I don't know when is not too much. Oh. Oh. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. Ew, <laughs> my hair is so wet. My hair is set. Put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is gonna look. And it's gonna stay on 24 7 and it's not gonna crease. Okay, those are big promises. Let's put on some primer. If you don't put on primer like this, you're a psycho. Okay, I'm ready to have no pimples, no pores, just flawless, perfect skin. I mean, she didn't say how I'm supposed to apply my foundation. I'm just gonna use a brush. Maybe she's gonna use a beauty blender. I don't know now. Oh, <laughs> I still have acne. <laughs> you still look like shit. Did I do something wrong? It, was, it literally didn't do anything. I mean, yeah, my skin just looks horrible in general right now. And uh, I feel like it's even a little dry, but this literally looks exactly, 100%, exactly the same. Like when I always do my foundation, maybe with a beauty blender. Now I'm wondering, like for all the other YouTubers who did this trend, if it actually worked for them and um, they saw a difference. Okay, I zoomed you guys in. This is my face without any powder, just like foundation and concealer. And um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> I really, really don't see a difference. I'm just gonna apply some powder now. I kind of just want to see if that worked for other people right now. Hang on. There's like something special about how it applies on top of the powder and the setting spray and the primer. I guess I'm just gonna finish my makeup now. After this was such an amazing success. <laughs> I'll be right back. 
And I did an amazing TikTok makeup trend trick and um, whatever. The pink eyeliner. <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> no, I applied powder and then setting spray and then primer and then foundation. So my skin would look amazing. It looks like you're wearing a lot of makeup. Looks like you're wearing a lot of makeup. Looks like you're wearing a lot of makeup. I look even worse? Well, if I look worse than normally, then I have to look bad. Because I just look mediocre normally. Who said that? <laughs> me! What do you think? It sucks. <laughs> That's really deep, guys. Okay, guys, so I put on my makeup and I'm gonna do this next thing. <laughs> And honestly, this one is just kind of ridiculous, but also it's kind of interesting and it really made me curious. What did she do? I think that was just like a method to plump her lips. Can I do that too? How did she do that? <laughs> that hurts already! Okay, and now I'm just gonna do this. Huh? I can't even get my lower lip in there. Well, I'm for sure just like getting rid of all of the foundation above my lip. Squeeze it in there. Or did she like fold it? I for sure don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is stuck now, but it's just like the left side. Why would you do that? I mean, isn't that also like really unhealthy? Mm-hmm. What do you think about my new lips? Here's before and after. Did it work for you, Vincent? Back there, in the second row? <laughs> I think um, that's just stupid. She didn't look like it was a lot of pain for her or a struggle to get it on. And that's it, though? <laughs> that is it. I'll go eat some pasta now and we'll see each other in a couple of hours. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a lot of pasta. <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna try is using Sharpies to dye my hair with and uh, guess what? My microphone wasn't on, so that's why I'm doing a little voice over here. I saw this TikTok of this girl dyeing her hair with a purple Sharpie and Honestly, it's been seen on YouTube before. I mean, a lot of people have done these type of videos, but I never did. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do because I saw it on TikTok. That means I'll have to do it now. And actually, I've never seen these type of videos. So I was kind of amazed how this whole thing works with the blowing the Sharpie kind of thing and getting the color out. And uh, well, I couldn't even open my Sharpie. So that's what happens here, I guess. Is that what happens here? What is happening here? <laughs> Luckily, Vincent managed to open my Sharpie and I really I really thought that was kind of cool. My plan was just to dye two strands of hair with this Sharpie color because I'm not stupid and it's still Sharpies I'm gonna put into my hair and I don't want to dye my whole head with it. So um, I'm just gonna blow, well, actually I'm not gonna blow on it because Vincent said it's toxic and I should be really careful and I still blew on it. So don't do that at home. And I started feeling dizzy and I really felt like I could actually taste the Sharpie flavor in my mouth, which was definitely not a good sign. And that was the moment I realized I could actually die because of TikTok and because I'm a stupid piece of shit. My next genius idea was to take a straw so I wouldn't have to touch the sharpie with my mouth. And let me tell you, this turned out to be a little bit of a mess. So I went back to my first method and I blew this sharpie like a whistle baby. At this moment, I didn't realize yet that all of the Sharpie color squirted onto my face. This is just me feeling dizzy again and contemplating my life. I finally managed to look into the mirror. That was the moment I realized I got it all on my face. And let me tell you, it's not that easy getting Sharpie color off of your face. Why is it such a look though? A wild chili appears out of nowhere staring at the white wall because there's always a possibility an evil bird is going to attack his whole family and he needs to protect his mama. Wow, look at this cute little baby. So this is what we got so far. So I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna add a little bit of conditioner. Oh my god. Wow, that is actually so pigmented. <gasps> I mixed this cute little pastel purple moment because I didn't want the purple to be too dark. And then I finally started sectioning my hair and I did this little schnoodle dude on my forehead, which was absolutely unnecessary, but I kind of lived for it. And then I opened the schnoodle dude again because I realized it was dumb and I started applying the color, yay. I also just had one glove on, which didn't make sense at all. But luckily Vincent saved me from my misery. If this isn't teamwork, I don't know what is. Why is he holding a cookie? Then I could finally do a little schnoodle dude on my forehead again, which made me the happiest girl in the world. I think in this 
this clip, I was seriously asking myself if putting deadly smelling Sharpie color onto my hair was a good decision. But maybe I was also just thinking about Vincent's cookie. And I'm basically just saying that I'm not gonna leave this on for too long because I'm really scared my schnoodle dude is gonna explode. Ooh, this is the finished look. I mean, honestly, it looks kind of cute, right? But let me be honest with you, it's just dumb <laughs> i mean if you have hair color at home just dye your hair with hair color and do not use a sharpie because it stinks like hell and maybe it's even toxic so just don't do that <laughs> i also had some of the sharpie color in my nostril and that made me realize this is not worth it anyways they're looking cute though <laughs> Hello. So the next TikTok I saw was um, this TikTok. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show it. Take me to the rooftop. I wanna see the world messed up breathing. And this is actually a website called Adult Swim, I think. I just thought it looked so cool and I was like maybe I can try this out and maybe it's actually easy to do and maybe I can write my own song on it and Taco is literally falling off of my bed anyway I found the website yeah. <laughs> that's amazing is that copyrighted <laughs> he's not amused Taco is falling off my bed. He doesn't even notice when he woke up. Chili? I think he wonders <laughs> what the sound is. My cat. Love each other, but sometimes they fight. No, he's falling. Taco sometimes has a little bit of poo poo in his hair. It's really, really hard to sing if you don't know which note you're playing, you know? I just think it's really beautiful. It's so harmonizing, it's mm. really satisfying. <laughs> I just didn't know any words right now. <laughs> My cat wants to play, but sadly he's gay. <laughs> that was the only rhyme I could think of. I'm sorry, I love gay. I love this website. Okay, I think we're done with this. Okay, Vincent. For this next one, I need you. <clears throat> and a break. <laughs> so I found this dance. Oh, I listened to that song in 2000. Let's learn a choreography. Honestly, I always underestimate TikTok dances. I always think, oh, it's a basic dance. You could learn that in about like maybe 30 minutes. And then I stand there for two hours trying to learn this choreography. Okay, Vincent, we got this. We're gonna do it in slow-mo. <laughs> We're just gonna film it with our knives right here. Nasty. Nasty? One more time and slow. Oh, low battery. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. Okay, guys, after maybe about an hour, we perfected it. We're in our final tries. We don't need Charlie anymore, we can do it on our own. I don't want to do this anymore. Me neither. Let's just pause. Why? 
We have three more tries to perfect this. I mean, my mind is only so <laughs> gründlich. Gründlich, wie man sagt im Norden. Ne, das war ja der Süden, oder? Ich weiß nicht. Na, was auch immer. I'm so sorry, I'm dumb. Okay, Dancing Queen. Yeah. Okay guys, so we can, we cannot we can physically not do any more of these. <laughs> I think we're not gonna get any better than this try I'm gonna show you. Here's our try. I think that is actually it for this video. Tell me if you know any TikTok trends or things I should try. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John Snap on Snapchat. And the Naomi John on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Mr. Tech, Mr. Tank.